good morning good afternoon and good evening everyone so today i got redmi note 11 and i was getting a request that uh, make a video how to flash the indonesia rom on uh, redmi note 11 because we are getting a global stock rom on redmi note 11 for example if i go to my phone settings and uh, further go to about phone so i got currently miui 13.0.6 version the global stock rom and uh, i am having a google dialer no call recording like the way me dialer do and also the google messaging application and the request was uh, coming that uh, make a video to flash indonesian rom to get me dialer and me sms application and also the stock call recording and believe me me dialer call recording quality is much much better than the google dialer i will show how to flash and uh, uh, the most important things that you need to do is the first thing that do not forget to subscribe my channel and also turn on the notification icon do not forget to like the video and keep sharing it with others so everybody knows that we can get me dialer and me sms application and also the stock call recording on redmi note 11 such a beautiful mobile phone having a beautiful super amoled color screen so going further and uh, moving further and uh, will uh, tell you that uh, few things that we have to do for uh, starting the procedure first of all save all the data this procedure will format everything and the most important thing that you need to unlock the bootloader first if you don't know how to unlock the bootloader i will provide tutorial video link in my video description you can watch that video uh, how to unlock the bootloader of redmi note 11 and simply then you can proceed all further steps now informing you that uh, those who are having a china variant of redmi note 11 and they want to flash the other region rom on the china variant first unlock the bootloader flash the other uh, region rom but do not relock the bootloader otherwise uh, the china variant set will show system destroy china variant will always uh, having an unlock bootloader and it will remain unlock as far you are using a custom rom or using a other region rom so the oem unlocking is gray it cannot turn off because the bootloader is already unlocked so this is what you have to do first the device is unlocked if the device is not unlocked or if you see the device is locked and secured you cannot flash the indonesian rom so after unlocking the bootloader then go to settings and if you have done on the password security lock screen then turn it off and then if you are using me account then go to your me account sync your me account once and then remove it same way go to account sync sync your google account once then remove it check the battery should be charged to minimum 50 percent now if you have done all these things then you can simply power off the mobile phone one more thing that i would like to inform you that for the first time when i was trying to flash the indonesian rom on redmi note 11 the android version 11 i was getting an error that is uh, flashing is not allowed in snapshotted state so i have uh, taken out the solution how to solve the problem and i i have already um, uh, recorded a video will upload after this video now in case if you are uh, trying to flash the indonesian rom on redmi note 11 and if you are getting that error the flashing is not allowed in snapshot state then watch that video how to get rid of that error and then simply follow the further steps now going ahead and set is power off and we'll show now what we have to download on computer because this method requires a usb cable always use a good quality of data cable for flashing and computer moving towards my computer screen so this is my downloaded folder and uh, link is provided in my video description you can uh, simply make a new folder and download this uh, fastboot rom file the code name if you can see the indonesia rom file code name is spesn n means the nfc device nfc device variant uh, launch in indonesia but the global variant is not having nfc so doesn't matter and don't worry 
still you can flash the nfc rom file on the known nfc redmi note 11 so after downloading the rom file must extract it in same folder if you haven't installed the drivers of me flash uh, or of the xiaomi mobile phone then i will provide a link in my video description watch that video install all the drivers first and then you can simply continue the all the rest steps now after extracting the rom folder or uh, open the extracted folder and you will see one more folder inside double click on it to open the folder and you will see bunch of files having fastboot adb etc etc now come back and copy this particular folder from here reminding you once again copy this particular folder from here because if you can see this pc then the hard drive then redmi note 11 subfolder then indonesia the nfc subfolder then again one more folder so do not start the procedure uh, having a folder inside in subfolder copy this particular folder from the inside subfolder and come to the main hard drive partition that must be any of it c d e f uh, in my in my case i will select my g drive click on it and i am out and i am on the main partition of my hard drive if you can see it here a two terabyte disk to hard drive now simply copy that particular folder in this main partition okay finally the file or the folder get copied on my main hard drive partition and it is a big file around 5 gb so it took a little long time double click on it and definitely you will see all the files now come back and rename the this folder because it is having a such a big name press f2 and then press the right arrow key and erase the file name just bring to the m that's it press enter key and now double click on it to open the folder coming back towards my mobile phone mobile phone must be power off now we have to boot the set into fast boot mode for that hold the data cable in your right hand check the other side of this cable must be connected with computer hold the mobile phone in your right hand and press and hold the volume down key then connect the cable with mobile phone and in few seconds the set will boot into fast boot mode definitely you will see fast boot in orange color immediately release the volume down key set is booted into fast boot mode and my set is connected already with computer coming back towards my computer screen now here we have a few options but i will advise you to use one of it from two that is if you do not want to relock the bootloader you want to simply flash the rom then double click the flash all dot bat file what it will do it will start uh, flashing the rom and after flashing the set will start booting but the bootloader will remain unlocked and you can relock the bootloader later after checking the rom and the tutorial video link is provided in my video description you can watch that video how to relock the bootloader with command window after flashing the rom and for those who do not want to relock the bootloader later they want to flash the rom and also the bootloader automatically get relocked so they can simply double click the flash all lock.bat so the rom will get flash and also the bootloader will get relock and you can simply use the mobile phone just like you have taken out from the box uh, in my case i will not relock the bootloader so i will double click the flash all file and the command window in black color will get open the flashing will get started it will take time now so just wait for it just watch it and uh, let the flashing complete then we will continue okay finally the flashing got completed and set will uh, reboot will start booting into indonesia stock rom disconnect the cable after when you see the me logo and computer work done i will uh, turn off the computer now and definitely you will see the set will start booting soon 
this is the first boot it may take like uh, maybe 1 or 1.5 minutes finally i got the miui 13 the welcome screen i will complete my setup screen now and definitely you will see the me dialer after when the setup screen got completed we'll go to setting first to show that the about phone and set is a little bit downgraded from 13.0.6 to 13.0.2 but the indonesian rom and if i go further tapping the all specs you can check out my mobile phone all specification also check the numbers uh, below base band version so we got stock me dialer and if i go further tapping the settings definitely you will see call recording here if you want you can uh, set it auto call recording and if you want you can record the calls manually by tapping the record calls during conversation and also we are getting me sms application this uh, is the this was a video how to flash the indonesian stock rom on redmi note 11 on any variant nfc1 or non nfc1 to get the me dialer and me sms application and uh, also the stock call recording do not forget to like the video and uh, do not forget to subscribe my channel thank you so much we'll see you in my next video Take a good care of yourself and uh, until then, goodbye.